So are you thinking about moving or relocating to Columbus, Ohio, and you wanna learn more about this incredible city? Well, I'm about to tell you about the four most walkable neighborhoods in the 614. What's up everybody, this is Brad Winter and I'm a real estate agent located right here in Columbus, Ohio. If you're new to the channel and you are wanting to learn more about what it's like to work, eat, live, play, and what the four most walkable neighborhoods are in Columbus, Ohio, make sure you tap that subscribe button and click on that bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. Honestly, I get so many calls, texts, emails, Instagram DMs of people that are moving or relocating to Columbus, and I absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about relocating to Columbus, you have to get a hold of me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. However you need to do it, make sure you do so, because I have your back when moving to Columbus. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna tell you what the four most walkable neighborhoods are in Columbus, but make sure you stick around to the very end because you're not gonna wanna miss what number one is. Number four, Old Worthington. This particular part of Worthington is about 12 miles north of downtown Columbus, located right on High Street. It's one of uh, my favorite places to go and hang out. You've got great restaurants such as the Whitney House and Old Bag and Nails. You've got a number of pubs that you can go grab a beer at with your buddies. You got Pete's Love and Donuts, which is a great donut shop. I frequent there probably a little too much, but hey, nobody's judging. So it's just gonna be a great area to take the family, to go with your friends, to go on a date. You're gonna be able to walk around the downtown area and enjoy yourself. But if you're looking for a little bit more to do than just that, there are 16 parks that are in this particular area of Worthington. So you're gonna be able to get some exercise, let the kids get out and play. So one of the more walkable neighborhoods, definitely that are located here in Columbus. As far as houses are concerned, you know, the average price of a home is right around the mid 300s and up. So definitely very affordable uh, for people that are, you know, kind of wanting to stay close to the city, but also want more of a suburban neighborhood feel. So again, number four is gonna be Old Worthington. Number three, Grandview. Grandview is located just a few miles west of downtown Columbus, and this neighborhood is really popular for young professionals and young families to live at. As far as where you're gonna to go to walk around, Grandview Avenue is gonna be you know, your main street that you're gonna find. A lot of great restaurants such as The Avenue, Grandview Cafe, Third and Hollywood. Those are gonna be kind of your staples. Then you've got Jenny's Ice Cream to get some sweet treats after dinner. And then if you want a coffee, you know, you got Stoff's Coffee located right there on Grandview Avenue. So again, this particular strip is gonna be the main area that you're gonna be able to take a nice Saturday afternoon stroll and check out all there is uh, about Grandview. As far as home prices are concerned, this is gonna be one of the more expensive areas to live in Columbus. The average home price is in the mid 400s. Um, so again, it's a great area for young professionals and young families to live, um, but just be prepared that you're, you know, your housing uh, costs are gonna be a little bit higher than some of the er other areas located in Columbus. Number two on our most walkable neighborhoods in Columbus is gonna be German Village. German Village is located just south of downtown Columbus and is what I think the best neighborhood in Columbus, but hey, I'm totally biased because I have lived here for a very long time and it's very near and dear to my heart. But German Village is a great area um, as far as being able to walk around. You're gonna have uh, Schiller Park, which is an enormous park located on the southern end of the village where you're gonna find tons of people getting some exercise, having picnics, walking their dogs, letting the dogs play. There's tennis courts. In the summer, a very vibrant area of German Village. Tons of people are gonna be outside doing things. But again, the village is totally walkable. Me and my girlfriend and our dog, we walk all over 
uh, the village, you know, we'll grab a coffee at Stoff's, which is the go-to spot for coffee in the village. And then we'll just walk everywhere and check out all the homes. Uh, it's a great place to see all sorts of different historic homes and really cool renovations that people are doing. As far as restaurants are concerned, you've got Barcelona, which is a great place. You've got Brown Bag Deli, which isn't necessarily a restaurant, but it's definitely a place you gotta stop in and grab a sandwich. Uh, same with Katzinger's, but what I feel like is the best restaurant in Columbus, especially when it's patio season, is gonna be Lindy's. So that's a place that you're definitely gonna wanna check out. As far as home prices are concerned, you're gonna start probably in the mid fours and work your way up to a couple million dollars, just depending on where the house is located and you know even what street it's on can dictate the price a lot of times. So again, guys, uh, number two on our most walkable neighborhood in Columbus is gonna be German Village. All right, guys, you have waited to find out what number one is. So here we go. The number one most walkable neighborhood in Columbus is gonna be the Short North. This is the most popular place in Columbus for not only people that live here to go out to eat, go grab a drink, do some shopping, uh, just go hang out at, but it's definitely the number one destination spot for people that are coming in and visiting Columbus. You know, Maybe they're staying at the, the hotels downtown or they're in for the Blue Jackets game. So this particular area is just north of downtown Columbus on High Street. I'm gonna lump in Italian Village, Victorian Village, and Harrison West all into the short north region to make one big neighborhood. You've got Goodale Park, which is an awesome park to go to. It's got a lot of festivals in the summer. As far as walkability, this is gonna be an awesome area to go and do those types of things. When it comes to housing, you know, you're looking at a whole range of, of different price ranges and styles of home. You've got condos that are all over this place that you know they can range from 200,000 all the way up to a million dollars. As far as houses, it's kind of the same thing. You've got really cool Victorian houses that you know, range from a half million all the way up to a couple million dollars, and then everything else in between located, you know, in this particular neighborhood. So again, if you're looking uh, for the most walkable neighborhood in Columbus, the short north area is going to be uh, the place that you want to go. All right, guys, there you have it. Those are the four most walkable neighborhoods in Columbus. If you are thinking about moving or relocating here, you have to get a hold of me. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, throw up the bat signal, whatever you gotta do or however you feel comfortable doing so, make sure you do it because I'm gonna have your back when moving here. All right, thanks guys for tuning in. Until next time.